By North American standards, it's really not much to look at. About the size of the average Okanagan garage, it could hardly be considered a mansion, but to one impoverished Mexican family, it is just that. For the past eight years, one mission has been building homes in the poorest barrios of Puerto Penasco, a town of 45,000 that sits on the Sea of Cortez an hour from the U.S. border. All the homes are built by volunteers, and for this build, there were 34 people from Western Canada, ranging in age from 6 weeks to 74 years old. No specialized skills are needed, as participants learn what to do on the job site. All the work is done by hand, from mixing concrete for the floor, to building walls and putting up the roof. The sounds of English chatter filled the air for three days as a group of Canucks transformed a dusty little plot of land into a home for Adan, Marcella, and their four children. Adan earns around $75 US a week, and without the help of one mission, he likely would never have been able to put his family into a home of their own. But this is not a handout. Those receiving a home must put in a certain number of volunteer hours in the community in order to qualify. To date, one mission has built 550 homes and generated thousands of volunteer hours for the betterment of the community. The volunteer hours can include working on a community garden, going back to school to get their GED, or other such projects. This allows participants to invest in their own community while earning a house and generating a sense of pride and ownership. For Castanet News, I'm Darren Hanchu in Mexico.